the perspective of a long homework in the home language and your children are negative before even starting or they procrastinate. Generally, Yoshito and I focus on creating fun experiences for children to enjoy their home language. But today we decided to dedicate this video to an aspect we usually just mention in passing. How long we do a certain activity and more precisely the benefits of short activities. Those that take seconds or a few minutes. Welcome to Activities for Multilingual Families, where we share ideas to help you foster your languages in a fun and compelling way. Before giving you examples of activities, let's have a look at the benefits of having short activities and games. The first one, and the most crucial one, is that it doesn't last long. So the effort to put in uh, when you speak, read or write in the home language is very minimal. Let me give you an example that has nothing to do with languages to help you understand this power of keeping things short. If I asked you to do three push-ups, how many of you would go for it? Without hesitation, maybe. Now, if I asked you to do 30 push-ups, how many of you would still do it? I imagine that there would be a lot less people. And as part of the people who wouldn't do them, I imagine that most wouldn't even start. And that's based on past experience thinking or believing that you can't do it. And now you might be thinking, yes, but you can't build up muscle with just three push-ups in the same way as you can't really improve by just speaking, reading or writing a few seconds or a few minutes. And you're right. But let me go back on the example of the push-ups. Many probably wouldn't have even done one push-up when I asked for 30. But when asked for just three, most would have probably done them. Already, uh, you would have done three more if I asked you to do only three. Now, if I asked you to do three more, many would have probably done them. And many would have probably thought, okay, three is nothing, I can do more. And you would have tried to prove that you could do more and do some on your own. And that's exactly where the power of keeping things short lies. Now that we have clarified this, let's have a look at a few examples. In various traditions, we have the opportunity to read, write, or speak a little. In France, for example, uh, we have les papillotes around Christmas, where it's a, a small chocolate wrapped in a nice paper, and inside you have a joke or fun fact. In England, we have something very similar with the crackers. Uh, in Japan, uh, during the Tanabata festival, we write on a piece of paper a wish we'd like to come true and tie it in a bamboo tree. So let us know as well in the comments if you have any opportunities in your traditions for your children to speak, read or write a little in the home language. In general, all kind of short messages, whether on post-its, notepads or as uh, SMS or WhatsApp messages, are a great and quick way to use the target language with purpose. Blocks of games are a fantastic option for children to read a little. They read the instructions and complete the activity. Um, if your child is, uh, has French as one of their languages and they're starting to read and write, I would highly suggest this series, Je suis en CP, there is Je suis en CE1, Je suis en CE2 as well. Uh, these books are really made for uh, beginner learners. And it's made really well for them to start deciphering on their own uh, different words. And they have as well uh, accompanying these books, some blocks of games that I would highly recommend. Je suis en CP and je suis en CE1 are really focused on helping the child work out on the how to write, how to decipher words. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. For older children, crossword puzzles are a great way to foster understanding, reading and writing in the target language in a fun way. Monthly and weekly magazines are a great option, especially because there are different uh, topics or types of things to read in a book. So your child can really choose, pick and choose what they want to read. And when you subscribe to it, there is the additional benefit of not having to look for resources. It comes automatically. Uh, 
For French, our children are reading UP, uh, which is a French magazine. And in English, my sons are really waiting every week to get this magazine, The Phoenix. Uh, we have loads of fun um, uh, stories, facts uh, inside the, the book. Reading a short article about a big topic is very satisfying as we learn a lot in a short time. And usually when the texts are well written, we want to know more. Same goes for our children. Is your child overwhelmed about a topic at school? Then think about alternative texts in newspapers, magazines, online and offline that make it more appealing, like little bites of texts. For older children, there are many sites they can subscribe to. If you are not sure which one to choose, ask their teachers or your children. They usually know where to find the information they need and in a format they like. If you know now a good site with magazines for teenagers in your language, please share with us in the comments. We have many more quick and easy activities for all ages in our books. The Toolbox for Multilingual Families and the Parents' Guide for Raising Multilateral Children. We are going to leave the links in the description below. So let's sum it up. Short moments of reading or writing are a great start and an effective way to keep everyone motivated. Think about how your children can incorporate short writings in their daily routine. Writing messages, shopping lists, to-do lists, anything counts. And look around you what you already have at your disposal. Any text can and will do. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified every time we publish a new video. Have, Have fun, fun with your languages! languages.